So one of my favorite iPhone features is standby mode. Charge your iPhone horizontally. It goes into this full screen clock experience with widgets and apps all designed for easy glanceability. Yeah, thanks for watching. I think I'll have to make this thing. Hi, so I'm Divyanshu. I'm currently working on a mobile app called Auto AI Reels, which helps you create Reels, Shorts and TikToks with the help of AI. This video is going to be an update on what's happening right now. So yeah, let me just share a couple of things which I have currently wrote down. So first of all, like uh, we did publish our app on 18th of September for a an hackathon and uh, we did not want that. Uh, the results are out and one of the very good app did win that competition which was called Curvo app it's by a very good developer and he was working on that app for mostly like almost a year okay so this is the app which i was talking about Curvo app daily planner to-do list and uh, so this is the app which has won the competition uh, the prize was almost like five thousand dollars plus uh, 150 billboards across california like physical offline billboards so I congratulated him on uh, Twitter and he's a really good developer. I've been following him for years now. So it's a very well deserved app actually. So the idea here is you can create, you can just like, for example, I can download this app and let's suppose I want to manage the to-do in my home. Like I want to give some tasks to my brother or my wife. They do not have to have this app. Most of the apps which are to-do apps. So if you want to make app like task on those, uh, everyone should have those apps. Like. If I have an iPhone, iOS, to-do app, reminders app, they all should have that. Only then they can receive the to-do tasks. But in this, the clever thing is, I can add them from my contact list. And if they are not in this app, they will get a notification on uh, WhatsApp or uh, like messenger, messenger uh, that I have assigned them some tasks. And they can just reply on WhatsApp uh, that they have completed it. And I can see that status on the app. Very clever idea, very unique, and I really loved uh, using this app and I might start using it for our internet. So yeah, the Karo app became the winner of that competition. Uh, but uh, for me, the good part was when I released the app, it built a very good momentum for me. And I started like coding a lot, publishing new features, getting feedbacks from the app. Another good thing which happens when you release on App Store is initial first week, Apple automatically pushes your app in rank. So it starts showing your app in results. Uh, for those keywords which your app is targeting to a lot more users. So I got initial 10 users who subscribed, like seven of them subscribed for a weekly sub and three of them subscribed for a monthly subscription. So this was really cool. Like you launched an app in just one week, I have 10 paying users of the app. Another good part was I had the initial momentum, uh, like I was uh, publishing the whole week, I was fixing the issues and I tried to publish it on Google Play, but still it's not out because uh, Google Play is uh, policies have changed a lot and in the review they are just rejecting it for very weird reasons and I'm still not sure like they are sharing a screenshot to me that they're saying when we press on this nothing happens but when I test on my device it does happen I share an appeal with them I uploaded a video that that button is working completely fine when I'm testing and the app is already being used by users in iOS so I'm not sure what's happening with Google Play the bad part is uh, like now it's been like almost 13 days since the app is out the impressions have decreased a lot because well initial boost has gone down and now I'll have to think about how do I market this app. Initial feedback I got from a couple of users was, uh, so one of the users said uh, he actually rated me two stars on the app store 
and the reason was he was getting an error like failed to generate video which was a very generic error and i did not see when i was developing it that on users can only create five videos per day otherwise it doesn't make any sense for me to monetize the app like the monetary unit economics is not working so five videos per day does give me a good margin to keep on working on this app but the error was very generic like failed to generate video and he thought the app is buggy that's what he wrote in the app store like ratings he also emailed me i emailed him back i even upgraded his plan like i said I'm really sorry the error is that kind of error but uh, technically you can only create 5 videos and I see you have already created 5 videos but I bumped him to create 10 videos a day because I did not want to get a bad star in the initial release dates when you release your app and initially if users are rating you bad that's a very bad sign like algorithm thinks your app is bad and it just deranks it I made some solid improvements uh, last week on the app and on Monday when I was sitting like I was thinking what to add to like what kind of feature I want to add in this which I'm personally thinking because initially you do not get a lot of feedback from users I can share it with my brothers my friends and they generally do not have many feedbacks because they are not the core user of this app and to get to that stage when I have core users who can give me real feedbacks it will take a couple of times like maybe one or two months so initially I'll have to think of me as a power user of this app I have to reduce as much friction for myself so what I did uh, last week, I created three Instagram channels and three YouTube shorts channels where I'm going to post daily five videos, like total five videos on all of these platforms. So five videos on Instagram and five videos on YouTube on these three, three channels. Uh, I have to create two more channels basically. So five channels on Instagram, five channels on YouTube and I'll be creating. So while doing this, because I'm creating five videos a day, I'll know what are the friction points, which I already know. Like I have written down the friction points which this app has and I can fix them. So that's my development task I want to fix. Another thing which I did very wrong last week was I was too fixated on the development part. What I did, I thought the design is not looking as cool as I thought. One of the user who is not actually a paying user gave me a feedback. The design does not correlate to what this app can do. Like it's more of like a kid's app. For example, like you can create stories for your kids. That was the theme and design I was going for initially. But uh, later on, I changed that. So. Last week I said I just revamped the whole design of the icon then I just changed the whole uh, like screens I added a lot of new features so last week was 100% development I did not think or saw anything else like not marketing not analytics so I have added a feature where you can now choose the background music initially there was just one default music on your videos now you can choose what kind of background music you want to add another is you can pick the voices now very clearly you can listen to them and everything happens in just one single screen instead of you tapping on different different screens and going through multiple steps to create a video another thing which i have added is again i want to reduce the friction so you have to create a channel and i do not want user to enter the name because again thinking of creating the name is a friction for them so i have given a surprise me button which you press and it just give you some hints this can be the name of your channel and this like can act like a idea generator for you what kind of idea of the channel you have you can see that directly on that page so yeah these are the development things which i have done another thing which i like really have to think about is because i am just working alone i have to think about marketing i have to think about product development designing development all of this is my own job i cannot fix it on a feature or a bug uh, which can keep me awake for a very long time. I have to think of like, which is the minimum work I can do to maximize my output. This is the thought process. And last week I did not do that. I was too fixated even on Saturday and Sunday to add an Instagram auto posting. What I was thinking was I just want the app to auto post on my Instagram as a reel or in YouTube, which technically reduces the friction a lot. But what I thought I'm creating everything on my mobile phone and I can in easily download the app and just upload on another app. It's it's that simple. And just to remove this friction, I have to spend way long time. I did a lot of research on how I can like get these permissions from Instagram. It's again a big hassle. I do not even know how many users will come into the app, create the uh, like the videos and then integrate their Instagram. Maybe they do not want that. So just for me, I was adding are too big of a feature and I spend too much time on that. So first of all, like I have to improve the funnel in terms of marketing. I have to increase how many users are getting into my page. Are the users who are looking for such a solution can easily find my app. That's the number one goal. Once they find the app, 
how easy it is for them to onboard into the app how easy it is for them to understand how can they create a video once they have created a video how good the output is is it something which they really want to publish it so the, there are too many things or too many problems to fix already and i was fixating on a thing which is like the end product end feature which is like auto posting on instagram or youtube so i ditched that feature completely uh, that feature will not be coming anytime soon so what is this week so today is monday and i've just sitting and starting to work first of all let me give you the weekly task so the whole week i am going to work on three things one is i want to add like because i'm creating too many reels from it so in in terms of development i have broken down my days into two sections one is development another is marketing and i have divided my weeks as well so this week is like the marketing week where i will not be doing a lot of development but focusing more on marketing the next week will be focused on development and uh, not just ditching marketing but marketing time will be reduced so this week i am just focusing a lot on marketing so my target this week is i want to publish total uh, 35 reels and shorts so i have already created three instagram channels i have to create two more i'm thinking about which niche i want to make those channels in and i have to like again create youtube channels like five youtube channels so i'll have total 10 channels five in instagram five in youtube and i want to make five reels or shorts per day on one for each for these channels and then start posting This will help me in two ways. One, the app will get visibility. Let's say if a reel is getting hundred views a day, uh, like combined reels are getting hundred views a day, that means if one percent of the user goes and see which app this reel is created with, so that would convert. So hundred user, one user, I am just adding automatically who will see my app. So good marketing way. Another way this will help me is because I'll be the power user who is creating five reels a day. that means i'll know what are the friction points how i can reduce my time to create these features which again i have already created that list uh, for now and that's what i'm going to work today and i want to make these videos so you guys can also download the app if you have ios android is coming very soon and help me like uh, gather some feedbacks about what i can improve on this this is on the marketing side this week on the development side i have some plans one is so first of all let me just go through the friction points which i have noted down one friction point is when i start creating the stories i'll show you in the screen when i start creating this stories okay so currently this is the state of my app right if you start creating any story for let's suppose i'm want to create this coding channel which i have created where i'm posting about technology like mostly like coding related small reels information reels so i want to create a new video so i can create on it so you see like i have already selected all this information earlier like the voice the channel the background music this was already there for the previous reel which i have created so what i want is these things should be auto filled so it becomes much easier for me to just write the prompt and start generating so what i want is the voice should be auto selected i'm generally selecting george voice here the channel should be automatically selected because i just entered into this channel the background music uh should not be selected because i am generally using uh, instagram's music uh, they just boost you in algorithm like the algorithm boosts you if you use the latest trending music so i don't want a background music in this the duration i want a 60 second for this channel specifically because one minute reels of information is minimum if you want to share some good information language english automatically selected yeah keyword so let's say if i want to type a keyword this is will make your images consistent like what kind of images i want so i want coding images like someone coding if i press this it will add it now if i scroll it down you see this selected no keyword because i did not press on done button so if i have to do it coding enter and i have to press done then it will show up here so this is and again uh, the coding is now keyword is gone so what i want is uh, that when i press on keywords it should show me all the keywords which i have selected because generally i use these few keywords when i want to generate for this channel so those keywords should be visible here and whenever i enter anything it should automatically be entered as a keyword instead of me pressing on done so this is one of the feature right and uh, another thing is like uh, cinematic i want the images to be in cinematic form normally i video if i type any prompt so let's say and another thing is if i press on generate the keyboard does not hide i want the keyboard 
to be hidden in this case so this is something which i am currently working on this week in terms of development this will be pushed out so that's about it thank you for watching this is the monday episode uh, too much talking i know like some of you have already commented we don't like when you just talk in front of the camera but the main idea of this channel is just to share the updates on the things which are going in my life and this this is the thing which is going in my life i try to add some like p-rolls on this video to make it more engaging but this is the update so far thank you so much for watching i'll be making more such content so please subscribe if you have not and please do comment please download the app give me some feedbacks i'm looking forward to it thank you so much